what's less nice is that the track is closed and the reason for that is M2 I need that for my tractor speaking of the M2 a lot of you probably wonder what's up with this good morning comrades definitely a good morning the sun is shining it's a bit cloudy but the weather is nice we can still enjoy the weather and the nice cars that the sun is shining upon is this a m2 cs because it has some nice wings side wings nice and on the back what will it say ah just king performance lightweight exhaust cool that one up there could be the cs because the wheels at least resemble a CS, but who knows, who knows, maybe it's just like casual and performance wheels, something that I don't know of. I really should be more up to date of the current BMWs, same type of wings, love it, love it, side skirt wings. Ooh, full carbon fiber bootlet, wonderful, that's really cool. I guess the, the parts the cost of the parts of the M performance parts alone is probably as much as a average hot hatch sometimes it could be the case yeah gt2 rs m3 the casual suspects that's still a one piece huh nice yes. good thank you uh, good job no i don't want a car no i'm good maybe later tonight for tf uh, it's an m3 convertible or um, yeah maybe yeah probably for yeah mm. Yeah, big nostrils. Something could be could be any M model nowadays, but it's just like a casual BMW models. Yeah, the very bad start start of the vlog, I would say. But let's keep it real. Let's keep this fragment inside. Uh, later on tonight, we have a TF session, so very much looking forward to maybe do some laps. Who knows? But for now, it's very windy, so windy that the sign is even blowing. Up. Let's go get some lunch at 27. And maybe first do some car spotting. Nice. Love the color. Nice AMG. And a very nice AMG. Is that a taxi? I think it's a taxi. Ah, uh, there we go. Hello. Oh, fancy seats. I like that. Feels like we're back in the 60s. Nice. Someone's healthy. <laughs> Fast forward to, yep. So in two minutes, TF will start. We have some cool car collection here. V10 for TF. FTV, FTF, I guess, for TF, Tourist and Fountain. Peugeot, GT3 RS. Hmm. Nice. Our first car of the day is BMW 218. Very excited to be out in it. Haven't been in it for a while, I would say. Been always slapping the black polo, but now let's hop in that. Something like that, maybe. Uh, very nice spot for a parking. Yes. <laughs> I think. Oh, there's even nobody inside. Sure, I mean, just go and order yourself a burger. <laughs> taxi and a fake taxi are here that's nice what's less nice is that the track is closed and the reason for that is someone managed to hit the deer so hard because it was going full speed down downhill the foxhole so it's actually the deer hole now very bad joke the deer snapped in half guts all over the place yeah obviously not gonna insert it in the vlog but hmm, I don't know if they're gonna open it in time I don't know actually what happens will the 
will the police come to make a report like during the public road like normal road to for your insurance to say that you hit a deer good question so but we will find out in a bit Ah, there's a phone call for Tim. So I guess not today then, huh? Yeah, not today. Then. Oh, hi there. Well, let's go in the V10 for TF. Welcome. The only proper way to have an R8 with a manual and a gated shifter. I guess it's the last car with a gated shifter, right? I think. I don't know if you can get anything else nowadays. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Wonderful. You know, you see a corner, tip me. <laughs> yes. Wow, wow, wow. Could have been better if it would be 2832, but. Uh, Next time I'll jump at. Uh, well, why do you want me to jump? Then we get less kilometers. Yeah, less kilometers. Hmm. I don't know. What would be the next one? Well, the, the, I guess the combined layout. 25, 800 we'll something. Try, we'll try and get 21, oh, 21. That'd be quite cool. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll try it. I need that for my tractor. Big boy. Um, yeah, as you could have seen, we're already back. We managed to do three out of four intended laps, so more laps tomorrow. Pretty cool. Very nice car. I was, you probably know that I was looking, well, well, not looking, I was very contemplating of like maybe getting Robert's one because nowadays they're pretty affordable. They're like around or below 50,000 euros. And, you know, considering the fact that when they were new, they were like close to 200 or 150 probably. It's, uh, it's still a good car. It's a very good GT car. You have to have it with a manual, not with the e-gear, because e-gear is probably the worst transmission ever released if you don't take into account some like transmission from the 60s, which were automatic or something. But uh, you get my point. And especially, put some turbos on it and you have a pretty fun, uh, fun track car. Bit of understeery though for the track, but uh, you can probably solve it with a couple of tweaks here and there. Now, the played game, except for V10 for TF, this. Um, two. Very nice, very cool. I wonder if the radars or like any speed cameras will, would pick up the A with the umlaut, the eh, like eh, eh, eh. Yeah, interesting. I have never seen such a possibility of a like a non well non casual letter to be on on a plate. I guess it's real. I would assume it's real. So interesting. Ooh, it's coming back. Quality content, ladies and gentlemen. Quality content. Is he gonna make a turn? Yes, he. Oh no, no. He's going back, reverse to the left, and he proceeds with the rest of the track. Nice turning to the right over there. My commentary skills suck. My filming skills are at least better. But uh, speaking of the M2, a lot of you probably wonder what's up with this. Well, it encountered the reason that it needed a complete new front end. So, it's there, just waiting for a few more parts and it will be assembled again. But, uh, there is that. I guess it's time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching, comrades, and see you in tomorrow's vlog. Well, there was an attempt. 
tried multitasking and burned the meat as a result. Just slightly, still tastes good.